so let's continue with selective breeding uh, this could be like a, like i say maybe part one of this uh, i have in the olden videos i have lot of times i have explained uh, breed characteristics showing cows and bulls calves in lot of videos like uh, you know if you are watching this video for the first time like my video for the first time just go to youtube and search with my name you will be getting lot of videos probably 10 year old videos 8 year old videos 5 year old videos lot many videos in multiple languages but uh, again it's been very long time i've done any videos in english so i'm uh, doing this video again for breeding and all uh, see uh, nowadays what is happening is like i said in the old, uh, my last video uh people nowadays they are thinking that okay a uh, lot of people from business background or some it background or some other background they are coming into this field and they are uh, in a uh, view that probably they can buy some cows and with the money they can buy some very good semen and they can inseminate and they are assuming that they will be getting good calves like they get at breeder places see what i do is generally if at all i have very good semen i mean very good semen means i have probably around 65 to 70 bulls semen out of them probably 10 bulls or so i'll rank best of the best best of the best means they are exceptional beyond exceptional but i don't use them just like that on any cow why because i do uh, create a foundation first means uh, what is the meaning of foundation see foundation is something like that uh, you know when you are building a cow you have to create a basement and all then on top of that you will be building walls or what not now what people are doing is that they don't know the genetics the previous genetics of any cow what they are buying from outside and they are just using some good semen uh, good bulls semen or good bulls bulls okay they might be doing this but to my knowledge to get uh, exceptional calves uh, the shortcut would be shortcut in the sense the best possible shortcut is first use certain bulls which can transform your cows into a different genre means uh, let's say they are a bit less quality of breed uh, breed characteristics are less like they say desi gujarati or desi gir kind of things or they are good but maybe horns eyes ear they are not good kind of things first you have to use certain bulls in every blood line probably there are certain bulls which do transform a lot like that uh, you use for one generation or two generations if possible on top of that when you feel that this cow is giving good progeny then try to use that exceptional semen on that so that you will be getting very good results what is happening is lot of people are buying some semen it could be proven bull semen it could be very old semen what not what not but they are directly using on the cows which uh, don't have any history uh, which don't have any uh, you know tracking records they don't have any pedigree i mean they bought some cows outside and 99% of the cows on the name of pedigree whatever are being sold in the market today are fake pedigrees like people they say like anything so means you know the quality of the cow you know the pedigree of the cow you know the genetics you know the results of the cow how good the cow is whether it is dominating more from her side or whether it is giving the result based on the semen or bull used so depending on all these things the uh, first generation will depend upon that and like you know based on your result based on your uh, first generation or second generation then you have to use the very good semen so that you will be getting that kind of exceptional result certain people uh, you know they will be keep on asking the same semen or the same bull used by uh, you know some bapu like any big breeders or some other uh, breeders who is breeding from very long time they are getting very good result but i am not getting is what people think they also doubt sometimes that whether this semen is fake i don't go into fake kind of thing there it might be happening or it might not be happening i can't say but what i can tell you is when you have a, a very good genetic potential the quality of the calf you get from the same semen and uh, the quality of the calf you get from your cattle and a old breeder's cattle will depend a lot that depends on the cows the base cows what you have so breeders have been breeding from very long time 
their breed quality and all their you know uh, the beauty its characteristics and all it's been fixed from very long time so when they use the same semen obviously they will be getting different result or a better result compared to a normal cow so it doesn't mean that you are using the same semen and uh, uh, saying that i got fake semen so i am not getting good result means it also depends equally on the cow which you are using that right so please concentrate on that as well and if at all you have very good old semen don't try to use randomly on any cow use them cleverly on cattle which are very good in phenotype and genotype this you can only know when you get at least one or two generation uh, from breeding on your own or you get a cow from a breeder obviously you can see that at least two to three generations of that i mean ancestors of that so you can know okay this is well bred maybe if you buy from someone you can use on that but don't use on any random cow so this happens because you don't create a foundation and use it randomly on a cow you don't get expected result from any bull semen and but yeah there will be exceptional cases in any uh, you know uh, option like you know uh, exceptional cases will be there everywhere certain bulls are there whether you use on any cow they will be giving the uniform result same result so that kind of bulls are exceptionally that kind of bulls you can use on any cow but what i'm trying to say is that old semen quality semen proven semen use it wisely on elite cows only uh i hope i have tried to explain this uh, you know creating this foundation basic foundation of your herd before going to the next level this could be the better way of approach to create uh, you know better cattle uh, we'll talk more in the second video of select selective breeding i'll try to upload it as soon as possible thank you